starting with a new look at a shooting last month in Youngstown. The victim's father is pleading for the violence to stop. First News is following up on his son's death tonight. Now, his father shared during First News at 5 how these victims of violence are getting younger. More now, this First News follow-up with Samantha Bender, who talked with him, and she's outside the police department. Dave, 21-year-old Tyland Lewis was shot and killed last month. I sat down with his father, Roosevelt Lewis, who was at a loss for words. He says he and his family are trying their best to pick up the pieces and carry Tyland's name on, celebrating him and his life. This was the scene on Summer Street on Youngstown South Side, September 11th, the city's 14th homicide of the year, claiming the life of Tyland Lewis. Captain Jason Simon with Youngstown Police says Tyland was dead when they arrived on scene. You're never supposed to bury your child. Your child is supposed to bury you. Tyland's father, Roosevelt Lewis, tells me no parent should have to go through this. He says the 21-year-old was his only son and a great brother to his three sisters. He was such a loving child. He loved everybody. He was the type of kid that would give you the shirt off his back and wouldn't think twice of it. Roosevelt says society looks at violence and these incidents like they're normal and the victims seem to be getting younger and younger. We need to stop the violence or whatever we have to do, come together as parents, neighbors, whatever. If you see something, say something that can save somebody's life. Captain Simon says leads did come in very quickly from the public and they were able to make some progress in the investigation very early on. He says recently police have seen a surge in public participation. And it's been beneficial. Uh, the public may not realize how beneficial it is, but I can tell you from our investigative standpoint that it makes all the difference in the world and has helped us solve or uh, be on the precipice of filing charges for you know, many of the more serious cases we've had this year. Captain Simon says no arrests have been made yet. They're still going through a lot of evidence from the scene, as well as witness statements and video. But he did say he does feel confident that charges will be filed in the case here soon. He wants to emphasize that they really need the public's assistance in helping to solve these crimes because the public is in these neighborhoods 24-7, oftentimes seeing and hearing things that police may not. Live in Youngstown, Samantha Bender, First News at 6. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.